Hey guys, welcome back to Fundamentals. Uh, this is Fundamental 4 and it's quite possibly the most important of the fundamental basics of archery and that's your finger grip. Um, some people will call it your hook, whatever. It's the, the way you grip the string with your fingers when you draw the bow back very important out of all the other fundamentals such as your release your your bow grip everything this is the most important this is the thing you have to get right to maximize your accuracy um, everything else can be quite forgiving but you, this you have to get right and it's not it's not difficult but it takes concentration and practice because if you think about what you're doing, you're attaching an arrow to a piece of string. Yeah? You're then grasping the piece of string and the arrow with your fingers and then you are applying pressure in a rearward direction to pull the string back and the arrow back and then at some point you're releasing the arrow now during all of that process of the drawing back and what have you your fingers are in contact with the arrow now if you apply too much pressure in one direction for instance um, if you put downward pressure with your top finger now with bearing in mind I'm assuming that we're talking for the visually impaired here we're talking target archery basically and you fight you're shooting split finger if you put too much pressure on top you can actually tilt the arrow up slightly if you put too much pressure from below you can tilt it down and all sorts of vari variations in between so it's all about consistency practicing getting just the right amount of pressure I mean you shouldn't have to hold the arrow in place it should stay on with the knock you're putting two fingers underneath. Now it's good practice to see the knocking point on the string. Don't allow your middle finger to rise above the knocking point. So the only pressure you're putting on the arrow is with your top finger. Um, now it's just basics. When you draw the arrow back, it's going to pinch your fingers down slightly, which is going to apply pressure. So you need to figure out at which point you're going to, you are applying pressure to the arrow. Are you just to say applying pressure at that point? Or are you putting your fingers a little bit above so that you're applying pressure as you draw back? That's one of the things you, you're going to have to pra practice. That's going to, only going to come with practice. The other thing which we'll talk about now is your release. The point at which you allow the string to move forward and to fire the arrow. Now the only thing you have to avoid with that is basically what's called plucking. Now plucking is a bit of a misnomer because um, basically what it implies is that you're doing that, you're not. When you're plucking you are basically pulling your hand off the string rather than letting the string slide off your hand. Now what do I mean by that? Well, basically what you can do, when you pull, you will actually pull the string back. I mean, you can actually do it like with it like that. You will pull the string. You'll pull your hand off the string. That can cause sideways movement of the string. It can cause outward twisting of the string, which in itself is not bad, but it just disrupts the, the shot. What you're aiming to do is to allow the string to slide off your fingers. And you do that simply by relaxing the hand, allowing the hand to just relax. Just allow the hand to open. When you draw back, you apply a certain amount of tension. Once you get to a certain point, the tension eases in your hand, but it becomes self-perpetuating, that tenseness, that tension. And then when you get to full draw, when you've decided to lose the shot, 
you relax the hand and allow the string to ride off your fingers. This is the most consistent way of doing it. If you're plucking, you can work around it, you can train around it, but it makes things awkward and should be avoided. Um, you'll also see, see now this is one of the things that, one of the things you'll also see is if you watch professional archers, when they get the full draw, they f pull the hand back, they, fl they fling the hand back. Now, an inexperienced archer doing this will have the tendency, when you get to full draw, to pluck. Because you're trying to get your arm thrown back. It's not necessary. You can just bring your hand back to full draw and just release. And you'll get the same kind of clean release as you would as a professional, as I'm saying that, as potentially the professional archers would get. You see, what the professional shooters are doing is they're not moving their arm back until the shot's gone. They're not doing that and letting go. They're actually doing that. If you watch them, the hand opens. Um, I've seen so, and it, it's a personal thing. And I think it's a comfort thing as well. You have to be comfortable with your release. I mean, I've seen some really strange releases. And there's one guy I watch on YouTube quite regularly. And his release from that point there is that he literally whips his hand away now if that's what you need to do to find a nice clean release well then that's what you do personally I come to full draw set myself in my anchor and my aiming point and just open my hand just relax my hand the fact that you are relaxing your hand the string will do the rest for you it will pull itself off your hand off your fingers that's what you aim to do. Pull, allow the string to pull off your fingers. Don't pull your fingers off the string. Like all things in archery, it is down to practice. Um, the more you practice, the more comfortable it becomes, the easier it will be to get those results. So basically, come to full draw, find my anchor, find my aiming point, relax my hand and allow the arrow to go allow the bow to do its job allow the tension in the string to throw the arrow away which is what you're aiming for right last one and then i'm going in because that wind is a bit we've got a wind of about 25 mile an hour which is giving us like a minus 10 degree wind chill but anyway there we go hope you enjoyed that hope you find it useful um, any questions? Now I've been thinking, if, any, if anybody has any questions, I wouldn't mind doing a question and answer video. Maybe if you've got questions about whatever, um, about my history in that, about myself, what kind of bows I like to shoot, technical questions, ask away. And if I get, once I get enough questions together, I'll do a Q&A. Right, anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that video. See you next time.